looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going over some updates, opening some packs, going over some general Madden stuff here, guys. Now, if you guys watched today's stream, you did see that it was RG Madden on the stream today instead of Kralo. A lot of people are confused. I don't think he's taking Kralo's spot. I think it's just he's taking over the competitive community manager because Kralo is like the Muck community manager. So, uh, for anyone who was confused about that, I, I think Kralo was just busy today or some of his house. So, he wasn't here. Nick, uh, Madden Mobile Nick couldn't be here. But I believe RG's taking over the competitive uh, Madden community manager's uh, scene. So, slightly different, but definitely was a different vibe today in the stream. Super drag. And to be honest with you guys, I understand like there's like audience retention and stuff but we come there for specific stuff like mutt news a little bit of entertainment but mostly mutt news but that was like 10 giveaways um we got an update at, it took 25 minutes oh no like 30 minutes just about 30 minutes and we got 10 seconds worth of updates it was kind of annoying uh yeah i'm not really a fan of that whole format of making us wait there for 30 minutes for things that especially if it's not gonna be good at least let us know in the beginning like oh you know we don't really got much today we're kind of just chilling here but they or i hate when they title it something like you know uh updates and news and then you get there it's like oh yeah so the updates are guys so that uh here's the legends from last week and yeah that's it like that's the updates and one thing like that they already said yesterday they're just repeating it as an update besides the point enough of my ranting guys if you're new to the channel subscribe go down below turn the notification bell smash the like button boys you guys have been killing can we get 50 likes in this video again if you guys show support we get we get a few hundred views here naturally so if you like to show support like the video it helps out a ton Really helping the channel again. So thank you guys for all that. If you guys need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle for 30% off. Take advantage, guys. But let's get into some of the uh, some of the updates real quick. Reminders and updates. Weekly weekend league, league. Weekly weekend league league. Weekly weekend league. This sounds so weird. Weekly weekend league rewards uh, are targeted to release on Tuesday around 2:30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern time after Team of the Week content does release. So that means that your you know your rewards come around uh, 2.33, which also means they'll be coming around Team of the Week 16 and 17 tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Now here are the update that's important. Solo battles, solo battle rewards will be delayed until the team can identify the issue of why players were able to play more than 13 solo battle games. The multi team will be rewarding players based on their correct placement from 13 games only. More details to come from Agent K tomorrow. So essentially, guys. When you went to go play solo battles, you were able to go ahead and play more than 13 games. So let's say you could play 14, 15, or even 16 games. That would essentially mean that you would be able to get the max score pretty easily, right? Because if you guys play solo battles, you understand that if you just play all the games, you pretty much get to ultimate, right? If you just win all the games, just about all the games, I believe, not even all. If you win just about all, you get ultimate easily. So the only thing keeping you from top 100 is like excellent, you know, meta performances within them versus just like just winning them. And it's only a little bit of points. So... Let's say the difference between you and top 100 is like 8k points. If you could play a full game or an extra game or two, you pretty much can get up to like 30 to 50,000 extra points. You're, you're, you know, you're pretty much rank one in the world at that point because you're getting two extra games that people who have to get those points within, you know, extra points within a game. If you guys are, you know, following the drift there. But point being is that pretty much people did get that opportunity. They essentially locked up free top 10 rewards at minimum uh, or at least top 100 at minimum and the maximum, you know, top one. So they're only going to be counting their first 13. So... For all you guys who may have placed ultimate with 15 games, know that you're probably being kicked out of ultimate. For all you guys who placed top 100, know that you're probably being kicked out of top 100. I don't know how they'll manage it. Maybe they'll just give you late top 100 rewards or they'll just give you ultimate. Like I said, they only going to count the first 13, but you never know how that goes. You know, the whole counting process could be a little, a little bit iffy. But nonetheless, guys, that is the update for today as far as solo battles goes. Solo battle glitch. Uh, yeah, I don't know why there's always, there's always issues with solo battles. This happens way too much. I don't understand why solo battles is always having issues. Because it's a lot, right? Like, this happens frequently. But solo battles are taken down for now anyways, so... Oh, solo battle rewards. And you gotta wait for the new set of them. But, anyways, moving on from that, guys. Let's head on back to the Madden screen. Coming on back, like I said, if you go to solo battles right now, this is what you're gonna be seeing for the most part. Nothing much. Uh, featured opponent, of course, you can go ahead and start your whole stuff here. And when you do click to advance into it, it just gives you this here. Now, if you guys see, this is the point stuff I was talking about before. Battle score difficulty based on what you do end up doing. So, minimum win battle score for Legend... Uh, it's gonna be 22 so it's pretty much you know if you guys understand if you play solo battles you're gonna pretty much understand what it is here are the opponents uh as well turp master cute siren so on and so forth you guys get the point anyways being like i said go if you guys don't know your first 13 games if you're able to track them or remember them for some reason you can go and just subtract the extras you played if you guys are one of those now i don't know if you intentionally did it or you kept just playing games because it allowed you to point being is for all you guys who do understand how it works you'll know how it is now guys uh, i'm gonna open up a few packs here 
there is some stuff you know i haven't really opened up too many packs besides the redux packs so i do want to try my luck here just a little bit so i want to try out some game changer packs i heard they're doing pretty decent lately i don't know what the odds of that are but so we're pretty much guaranteed an elite in every pack right guaranteed an elite now the odds of them being a good elite um i couldn't i, I don't know about that but okay so we get an elite right here probably a low level elite. 86 justin tucker that's that's decent i already have one of those low legend 84 john hannah we get a team of the week card right here we get 88 kenny young a 50 50 and not and, and namdi asamoa right hope i said that right and we get a blue card right here we get mark andrews series redux was that a good pack before i go open another one let's go was that was was that a good pack i i feel like it could be i gotta sell the stuff for my last pack opening too by the way uh let's see what does mark andrews go for here 39k okay and uh mr young cool we made some money so you know we're gonna open up another one as long as we're making money pa packs are fun right even if we lose a little bit but if we're making some we it's not bad at all okay so i got no gold cards out of that which see it's almost impossible to get a gold card you have to be really unlucky which i'll probably get one now because i said it low legend 81 bobby bell we get let's see 89 shaq thompson okay another 50 player can it be a full one i've never pulled a full one before 81 walter jones a superstar mvp gardner Minshew, and we get a elite 86 camera jordan like, we're gonna open up another one because these are actually not too bad like i'm not gonna lie like not bad at all let's see if we get a steve smith senior Ooh, that's not good that's not good tyler eifert oh no 88 Michael finley and another elite we get 80 Orlando Brown Jr. I'm going to open up one more because I feel like, honestly, with those high 88 overall pulls, I'm at least making back. A little, I'm probably making back like 40K on those bad ones. Oh, now we're going to start getting golds. James Conner. We get another elite here. Let's see. 81 David Andrews. Another elite. 81 Marvin Jones Jr. We get a superstar MVP player. Sending them. Oh, tell me, team of the week. Sorry. Uh, and elite. Okay. That's where, we, that's where we draw the line, right? That's where we draw the line on these packs. Let's go check that out real quick. I don't, they're not that bad. Game changers were not horrible. They definitely got worse towards the end there. It started off pretty good, to be completely honest with you. Uh, Jermichael Finley, 88. is 32K. Okay, so at most, we probably broke even. If I had to, if I had to guess, we broke even. Let's see Shaq Thompson. 20, yeah, we probably broke even. More or less broke even, which is it's fine with me. I will take a break even all day as long as I get to open up some packs for the video. Maybe we lost like 10 to 15K. Maybe we did. We got to get back to around whatever we had, like 360. And then, of course, I got to sell all this other stuff I have over here, so... I'll get to sell on that pretty soon. Hopefully, these guys didn't go down too much. Now, they actually came up a little bit. Cool. So, I'll get to sell on all that. The market has settled now. So, you can feel a little bit safer to, uh, to sell about now. Because as you guys do know, because of the whole series redux crash and, you know, update, that all kind of affects the market. So, it is nice to see that we're going back to a median of like, oh, you know, we can start safely using the market again without expecting a big crash or so on and so forth. But, guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the notification bell. Like the video, of course. And like I said, if you guys are big fans or you support or you like to watch it anyways, if you made it this far, like the video. It helps out the channel tremendously. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.